In this video, I will show you how to fulfill your drop shipping orders on Amazon.com, how I process orders, how I keep track of all of my Amazon drop shipping listings, as well as what I do in order to handle TBA tracking issues and how I try to avoid using prime listings by relying on Amazon third-party sellers to fulfill the orders instead of Amazon. If you're new, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Daniel and on this channel, I show you how to start your very own Facebook marketplace dropshipping business. If you have little to no experience, then this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get right into this week's video. Congratulations, you have sold your first item on Facebook Marketplace. So for this example, I actually wanted to go inside of my own personal Facebook Marketplace and show you an example of an item that recently sold for me and I'm sourcing it from Amazon.com. So it's a great example to walk you through exactly how you will go about the order uh, fulfillment process using Amazon as your supplier. We are inside of Amazon.com. So before you can actually fulfill order, you need to create an account. So let me go ahead and show you how you can do that yourself. Okay, go to Google and type in create new Amazon account. Click on the link and it's gonna bring you over to this form. Enter your, enter your name, an email or mobile number, a password, and then create the account. What's going to happen next is that Amazon is gonna send you an email to verify the account. If everything was successful and there were no issues with the transaction, then you should get an email similar to what I'm showing you right now. So let's go ahead and go over the next step. Once you're verified, you should be able to log in into your account and on the top right hand corner, you should see the word hello followed by your name, which in my case is saying hello, Daniel. And the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go to account and you wanna make sure that you scroll down and you wanna set your preferred payment method for all of your purchases that you're going to be doing on this account. So just in case you're curious as to what forms of payments you can enter into Amazon, take a look at the screen and you have quite a few options available to you. You can use Venmo if you don't have a credit card yet and you're just starting and you're just starting to sell online, you can add a personal checking account. You can even add an EBT, which is, I think, um, the, the welfare or, or, or food stamps. Uh, don't quote me on that. I think that's what it is. But there's a variety of different forms of payment you can use, as well as Amazon gift cards. You can also purchase gift cards uh, to make your purchases, so you're not limited to just credit cards. So take that into consideration, especially if you're new and you're doing this for the very first time. Now, I do want to make a recommendation. If you're selling as an individual, meaning that you don't have an LLC or any type of formal business set up yet, then use a credit card, whichever one you have at the moment. However, if you are a business, then I would highly recommend that you use your business credit card. If you haven't yet, apply for one then you probably should as soon as possible but this is just my personal preference and what I recommend but you can use any credit card that you have it's just that you want to separate your normal purchases personal purchases from purchases that have to do with your business it's, it's a good practice to keep both things separated but again, it's up to you in which way you prefer to work, but that is my recommendation and I hope you take that into consideration. When you sell your first item, you will go down to the order section, which is what you're looking at right now inside of my Facebook Marketplace. And obviously, I'm not gonna show you a lot of the personal information that belongs to the customer. Uh, I'm not allowed to do that, but I can show you the actual item, the picture, the, the title, this is an item that has been doing very well for me. So if you've been having some difficulties or challenges finding products, uh, here's an example and you should give it a try if you haven't already done so. So what I was saying at the beginning of the video is that not only do you need to know how to order for fill, but you also have to be able to keep track of all of, all of the listings that you're sourcing from your different suppliers. So I have my virtual assistants help me with that. So in the beginning of this video, I did make mention that you're going to also need a good, you know, track keeping or record keeping system where you can find the items rather quickly so that you or your virtual assistant can go and then place the order on amazon.com. 
So this is exactly what I want to show you right now. And this is the actual sheet that my VA and myself use. Now I'm blurring a lot of information because a lot of the products here are the ones that I'm drop shipping and the ones that are doing very well for me on, my, on Facebook Marketplace. So I will give you some products for free, but I'm not going to give away all of my products, at least not just yet. We'll, we'll wait for Q4 to finish up and then we'll maybe start releasing uh, more products to you guys so you can go ahead and test them. So the very first thing you're going to need is the SKU. So this is the ID that identifies the product on the platform. Now Walmart has a very unique SKU, so does eBay and so does Amazon. Now in Amazon's case, the SKU is actually called an ASIN and it's basically just a unique identifier that if you put it into the search on amazon.com, it will find the product for you, you know, in instantaneously. I can't even say that word. It'll find the it'll find the product in an instant. This is what I'm trying to say. Right? So, you're going to also have to do this. So, if you're a beginner and this is the first time you have a look at this, Keep this in mind that you're going to need some type of record keeping. I recommend you use Google Sheets. They're free and they're very easy to use. So once you have your ASIN, now you can go ahead and take that, plug it into Amazon.com, and now you can start the actual order uh, fulfillment process. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at that next. Okay, so we're, we're back inside of Amazon.com, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to take that ASIN, you're going to copy-paste, and there it is right there. You're going to search for it. And like magic, you should get some results. Now, sometimes it might give you the exact product. In other occasions, that same ASIN can be linked to multiple products. But obviously, this is why the record keeping is so helpful. You want to make sure you can identify the right product. In my case, I already know which one it is. And it's this product right here. It's the blue one. And you would go ahead and bring it up and as you can see this product I have already you know purchased it for drop shipping three times I thought it had sold a few more times but hey uh, we just listed the, this product I think this month and it's already sold three times so it's actually not a bad product and you can see right here the product sells for $69 on amazon.com and myself and my virtual assistant we're drop shipping this for um, $89, $89 plus $9 shipping. So I, I think when it comes down to it, we're, we're making close to like $15 in profit. Uh, I mean, I may be doing the math wrong, but I mean, if you have a calculator, just let me know in the comment section. Um, but basically what you would do at this point is that you simply will go and add to cart, right? And I have already fulfilled this order. Uh, just in case, so I'm not going to go through the entire process. Um, sometimes you might get these um, protection plans. Obviously, you're a drop shipper. You don't need any of these protection plans. And you're going to go ahead and proceed to checkout. Okay, so we're back, and thank you for patiently waiting. If you're liking so far what I've been talking about, then give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe. It is totally free and it really helps the channel out tremendously. So as you can see here, you would have your shipping address. So this will be the address of the customer that you want to ship the item to. So make sure that you verify the address on your Facebook order before you actually click uh, you know, the payment option on Amazon. Uh, number two is going to be your payment method. Now, in the beginning, I said that I recommend that you do use a business credit card. If you're an individual, then you're likely going to have to use your personal credit card, which is okay, but you don't want to do that forever. Or you can use a personal checking account. I just want to make sure that you separate your drop shipping expenses from your personal expenses, and that's really kind of the, the point I, I want to drive home when I say, you know, make sure you, you pick the best payment method possible. Um, as you can see right here on the order, I'm not paying any tax. And the reason why is because I'm actually tax exempt on Amazon. If you were not aware, you can, you can get tax exempt. It's, it's, a, it's not a very lengthy process if you know what you're doing. Um, I do go over this in length 
inside of my drop shipping course. That's something that's, that's available if you're interested. All links will be down below um, if you want to maybe consider that if you're just tuning in and want to learn more about drop shipping. Now, at the very bottom is where you're going to select how fast you want Amazon to deliver your product. Now, I am using my personal Prime account, so I do have Prime available to me. But what I like to use is the, the, the least fast option unless there's a reason why I need the product to get to the customer in two days or less. And typically, on most orders on Amazon, you're going to have the option where it's going to be free, no rush shipping, okay? They're still going to get it fairly quickly, but you're not using the prime benefits, like quote-unquote, okay? Uh, this is just a little tip in case you're concerned about your account getting restricted when it comes to using Prime, which I will talk about a little bit inside of this video, but if you want me to go more in length about what strategies or tips I recommend for how best to use Prime, let me know down in the comment section, and that's a video that I will have to make um, the next time around, okay? So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go with Thursday, uh, December 1st for delivery. So once you check everything and everything looks fine to you, then just go ahead, click place order. And my friend, you have successfully placed your first order on Amazon.com. And congratulations on your first sale inside of Facebook Marketplace. Another bit of information that I think is going to be helpful is whether you're experienced or you're a beginner. I think knowing this is really going to help you is that if you look at the listing, you can see here that this item is sold and shipped by very okay so let's say this is an item that you find on facebook marketplace it's selling very well and there's a seller that is not amazon that is selling this item so technically you can buy this item without ever having to worry that you're going to um, not abide by amazon's you know policy of buying things for resale because you are purchasing on the Amazon platform, but you're not purchasing from Amazon directly. You're not using Amazon's you know, shipping services. You're not exploiting Amazon's two-day shipping because you're buying it from a third-party seller. So if you want to avoid having issues with using Prime or using any sort of Prime benefit, you can do so by buying from third-party sellers similar to this one. Now, you want to avoid anything that is branded. Uh, stay away from any of those things. But there's a lot of third-party sellers that are, you know, resellers, to be honest with you, or have very small brands that people don't know about. And you can buy from them, and you don't have to worry about ever having any issues with Amazon restricting or even banning your account. So that's... Pro tip from Daniel Sells Online. A couple more things I want to touch on on this video that I think are going to be valuable and helpful to you, especially if you're new and you're considering starting drop shipping and you want to figure out whether Amazon is the right supplier for you or not. One thing you have to know and take into consideration is that Amazon does use their, their own couriers, their own delivery logistic fleet, and sometimes the tracking numbers that are issued by Amazon are not eligible for you to upload into your Facebook marketplace or even your, well, I'm sorry, I was going to say Facebook shop, but you can actually add TBA, but that's a whole different conversation for a whole different day. So we're going to head and edit that out of the video. So the TBA tracking numbers, you cannot enter them into Facebook marketplace. You can only enter USPS UPS and FedEx. So in order to solve for this problem, I am going to show you what you can do so that whenever this happens to you, you do have a solution. So let me go ahead. Let's go back inside of my computer and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're back inside of my computer and I went ahead and navigated over to tracktaco.com and what they do is that they will provide you tracking numbers that are FedEx, or UPS that you can use in place of TBA tracking. 
You can sign up for an account. I am not affiliated with them. I am not promoting them. I do use them. I do pay for this service, so I'm not getting anything for free here. Um, but it's very helpful, especially if you want to drop ship on Amazon, you are going to need this service. Now, I'm not going to go into every single detail about Tra Taco in this video. Um, again, you know, it's a democracy. If you guys want to learn more about Track Taco, let me know down in the comment section. But basically how it works is that you would purchase a package of tracking numbers for X dollars, and they're not very expensive at all, and you do get quite a quite an amount of tracking numbers for you to use. And all you have to do is enter the destination city. Now, it says that it's optional, but I recommend that you do enter the city because it's going to be more accurate. Enter the destination state, and then you also want to enter when do you think the item is going to arrive. So if you are dropshipping items from Amazon, typically items you know, tend to arrive in less than five days unless you're doing you know, two-day prime. And what I like to do is that I like to over kind of, you know, estimate the, the shipping time. So I like to do between three to six days to be super conservative. Um, but again, it's your personal preference. So you do what you think is right for you. And then once you have all of that information, which you would get from the order on Amazon, the city and the state, then you can go ahead and click, you know, get tracking number and you'll get something similar to this. And then you can take that tracking and put it inside of your Facebook marketplace uh, in place of the TBA tracking. So I hope that you have found this information to be helpful. Now, if you're a beginner and you're looking for more information, then check out my full length course link down below. Right now, I am running a promotion on it. It will expire by midnight tonight. So take full advantage of it. It has everything that you need to know, the A through Zs, of Facebook Marketplace drop shipping and also Facebook shops. If you're not interested in the course but you want to join a strong community of drop shippers, check out my Discord group. It's totally free. Sign up for the Discord. Uh, send me a message if you have any questions. Again, if you're interested in more drop shipping content, then I highly recommend this video over here. And I'll see you inside.